So right off the bat, if you're trying to license your music and you want to do this full time, you will run into this issue. So watch this video. This is a very important one that could get you through a really dark period in your career. Um, I've gotten an email just the other day from a student of mine who he had been in the TV film world about six months before he even found my course or my program. But he signed up and he's doing some great things now. But, you know, he's getting some of his first uh, royalty checks now because he's, you know, sort of new into this business. And his first royalty check was $14. Now, you know, he was a little bit stoked, I guess, that he had some money coming in. But he also had this sort of like, well, what have I been doing? I mean, I've been doing this for like a year and I got $14 to show for it. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. That's not, I can't even pay a utility bill. So what I told him is I said, dude, my first royalty check after about a year in this industry was 14 cents. It was literally 14 cents. So he is actually doing 100 times better than I ever did when I first got started. Um, that's how this industry is. It starts off with pennies and dollars. It's a very slow moving uh, industry when you first get started. Uh, you know, some students get really lucky. Like they, they nail some huge placements right out of the gate and they see hundreds, thousands of dollars in their first royalty check. And I think that's awesome and I wish them all the best for that. But for, for most of us, it's gonna start like this student. You're gonna get a couple of cents, couple of dollars, maybe 50, $100 in your first royalty check and it might feel like a little bit of a is this really going to work out you know and especially down the road you know you might see the second check jump up to let's say two or three hundred and then the check after that goes back down to 50 and you feel like well am i going in the right direction i mean i don't know so there will be these up and downs to your royalty checks and to the year flow of income but what you should start to see is that year after year on average your checks are getting larger and larger if you're constantly composing, right? You have to be putting out new music all the time. If you go to sleep on your career, yeah, you're gonna just gonna see those checks dwindle and go down. But if you're constantly out there all the time putting new tracks out uh, and composing, you will see year after year, your average, right? The total amount that you'll be making per year going up and up and up. In my experience, I started to see a exponential doubling about two to three years into my career so yeah it doesn't seem like a lot in the beginning because you go from you know 14 cents to maybe a dollar you're like oh that's not a big deal but that's a pretty big jump right and then from a dollar to i started making you know 20 30 on my checks and then it jumped up to 200 and 500 and then a thousand and then i started seeing the 2000 range and then it went to 4000 right and it bumped up and up and up and then on top of that as those royalty checks are growing like that I started to uh, collect custom jobs. So these are just the upfront fees that I was getting to write a song for a Ford commercial or American Career College or something like that. So that's just like money on top of my royalties that started to pile in. So it is a slow process and it does take time for you to get to the point where your royalties and the money you have coming in will pay all of your bills. So my best advice for you, if you're facing getting a royalty check and it's really underwhelming and it's not really that encouraging, you know, you got to get a little crazy and you have to just put it out of your head. You just have to not think about the demotivating factor that's right in front of you. Um, if I, in all of those royalty checks when I had got them and, and really just decided, ah, I'm just, I'm bailing out. I'm not going to do this business because that's just an insult to my ego to be paid so little for all the work I put into this. Um, I wouldn't have been where I am now because I would have given up before I saw the good stuff. And trust me, the fruits of your labor will come in due time. They always do, um, especially in this side of the business. Um, it, there's, there is an element of luck, I'm not gonna lie. There is an element of like getting your tracks placed in the right places at the right time that land the most money for sure. Um, but really, like rather than relying on luck, what I do is I uh, increase my odds of success by putting as many high quality tracks out there as I possibly can and partnering with the right people that have a track record of getting me great placements. So yeah, some quarters I get more lucky than others, but on the aggregate, I'm moving towards a place of being very profitable and um, being valued for my music. So you will face that time. You'll have a dark moment where you'll want to give up. You'll see that little tiny royalty check and go, what the hell am I doing this for? I don't know if this is going to work out. 
And all I can do is be a, an encouraging voice for you, an encouraging voice for you as you face that moment. And hopefully you remember this video and go, yeah, that Jesse guy, he kind of talked about that, that this was going to be something that would be tricky. And what did he do? Well, what I did is I put my head down and just started working. That's really all I did. I just said, all right, that sucks. Not that excited about that, but I do believe in what I'm doing. I do believe that this is going to be a long-term uh, goal for myself. And I'm going to get back to work. I basically need to go back to, you know, producing even higher quality music and even getting bigger and better relationships built in this industry to really start seeing those higher royalties come in. And trust me, they will come the longer you stick with this.